So the story was uh, General Butt Naked and the two Pachacular Army. And it was basically this guy who fought naked with his army because they believed they couldn't be killed was fighting the Tupac Shakur. I mean, we're like, well, that's a story for Vice. And then... So did you go personally? So I, I was like, well, let's just go shoot it. Like, how, how bad could this be? So we flew to Liberia to meet this guy, General Butt Naked. Had you been to Liberia before? No. Okay. No. And, uh, like, again, we, we'd never been anywhere. And we would go, I think we flew, like, Air Belgium for, like, $400. Like, we had no money. Yeah. And we were staying at I don't know, some, some grim place in, the, in Liberia. Anyway, uh, and then you meet General Butt Naked, and he's like, he's talking to you about not only killing people, but eating them. Like, he was a very famous cannibal. And, uh, and you're like, holy fuck. And then it, there's all these other generals, and he's introducing these other generals. And the stories that they're telling, and like we went to Monrovia, we went to um, West Point. And West Point is like the worst slum, maybe in the world, but definitely in West Africa. And it's fucking gnarly. And everyone, by the way, it's Were so Were they happy poor. to see you? No. Well, not not happy. They want money. Sorry. So they're like, holy, like, how much is those shoes? Like, how much is that? Like, it's just like money and <clears throat> cameras and shoes. And like, they just want any kind of money. And so it's it's hyper like you just if you're anywhere for a long period of time you just get surrounded by tons and tons of people i remember i bought some when you buy like a drink they buy like a like a coke or something they pour it like little bits of it into like a plastic bag and i bought some for some kids who were around and then you know the bigger kids came out and then the bigger kids came out and it was became like a little fish eating a bigger fish and you're like oh, gee, oh, no i just wanted to be like like it's rough and re like really rough. And uh, did you ever feel in danger? Oh yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. how do you deal with that? There was a, there's two there was two points. One time we got we got this guy. So there's all these different generals, and one was General Mosquito, because mosquitoes are terrifying because of dengue fever or malaria. So General Mosquito, and then there's General Mosquito Spray. Oh, that's it. So one was General Bin Laden. So we got General Bin Laden out of jail to go interview him. And then as we were interviewing him, the whole building got surrounded by like, I don't know, 200 guys with all machine guns, the, his army. How, how would you get somebody out of jail? He just bribed the I cops and said, can we have him for a bit to interview him? Yeah. And uh, so you'd say in general, you could make things happen in most of the places you went? Yeah, 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 yeah. And, uh, yeah, that that was that was scary. That was uh, Liberia is a scary place, and uh, but hang. I also you you get a bit of Stockholm syndrome because you're hanging out with butt naked, and he's saving you from a lot of these because he comes out and everyone's like whoa. <laughs> so you're like oh, I'm with him. I'm with butt naked. Yeah. <laughs> it's just a weird, 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 uh, weird place. But uh, did they also everybody spoke English? Yeah, because Liberia is actually formed by America. So it's called like explain yeah, explain. So it's called so <clears throat> it was you know Marcus Garvey. Mm -hmm. So Marcus Garvey led this back to Africa movement. So it's freed slaves who went to Liberia. You know means freedom. So li li liberty Liberia. So they bought uh, a, a portion of West Africa. They went to West Africa. The the capital city is called Monrovia after uh, Monroe, who is the president of America. Uh, the constitution was written in America. And in in Liberia, they have like people with African names and people with American names, right? Like Charles Taylor, famously, one of the worst Civil War guys. And um, so the Americans, the freed slaves, went to Africa and promptly enslaved the native Africans based on the plantation system that they had learned in America. So that there was a slavery system where the American free slaves enslaved the local Liberians. So then that started. Did you know this story before you went? Yeah, I knew, I knew, I knew the basics. <laughs> yeah. And Charles Taylor is famous because he became like this. He killed so many people and he was backed by us and butt naked, you know, was, was against them. And so, 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 I, I, you called him butt naked, or he called himself butt naked. He called himself butt naked. Interesting. That was his. That was his general. He was general butt naked. They literally would fight naked. 
and they believed that that, you know, couldn't hurt them. And he would tell like crazy stories of like, yeah, before we would go to war, we would, you know, get a child and c cut out their heart and eat their heart before going in because we believed it couldn't kill us, couldn't kill ourselves. And meanwhile, this is a guy who's openly telling you that, walking on the streets, like telling you these stories, and you're like, it's just so coming from Brooklyn and flying into these places and meeting these people, you're like, what the, what? But that's what Vice became. So anyone who says, well, what is Vice, the content of Vice? It became like, just fly into the place and press record. And also this whole thing of objectivity or subjectivity, they're like, well, you know, you're supposed to be objective. It's impossible to be objective. You're coming from Brooklyn to a place where they're talking about eating baby's hearts. And you're like, yeah, I'm not gonna, oh, well, you know. So that whole like, like the whole voyage of going there and being subjective of like this is how it's affecting me and stuff um, became a sort of signature, you know, vice style as well. And then from there, you started. We started sneaking into like Iraq, Afghanistan, Iran, and uh, and yeah, that's when it that's when it it got gnarly. When did it turn to be more 